In this video, let's implement the hash table data structure in JavaScript. In the previous video, I mentioned that a hash table must support three main operations. Set to store a key value pair, get to retrieve a value given its key, and remove to delete a key value pair. Apart from these, we will also implement a hashing function to convert a string key to a numeric index, which is important to store data in an array. All right, let's head over to Replit and write the code together. Now to implement the hash table data structure, we're going to create a hash table class and implement its properties and methods. Let's begin by defining the class. Class hash table. Within the class, we're going to add a constructor to initialize a fixed length array called table. Constructor will receive size as a parameter. And we are going to create a new array with the specified size. We will also maintain the size in a class property. Const table is equal to new hash table of size 50. This will create an instance and let us add key value pairs. Next, we're going to define the hash method, which is going to be used by set, get, and remove methods. The method name is hash, and it accepts a key which is of type string. Now the logic to convert key into a numeric index can vary in complexity. You typically want complex hashing functions which do not produce the same index for different keys. However, from a beginner's perspective, I want you to understand what the hashing function is used for and for that reason, I will use very simple logic. We are going to use the character code at built-in function to convert each character in the key to a numeric value. We will then add all the values to give us one number which we can use. Let's begin by creating a total variable initialized to zero. Next, add a for loop that iterates over each character in the key and adds the character code to the total. For, let i is equal to zero, i less than key dot length i plus plus total plus is equal to key dot character code at i now this can result in a value that is greater than the size of the array to make sure the index is in bounds of the array we use the modulus operator with the size of the array. So return total modulus this dot size. If the size is 50, for example, this will ensure the index is in the range of 0 and 49, both inclusive. All right, we now have a way to convert the string key into a numeric index. Let's proceed to defining the set method, which is used to set a key value pair in the table. Set accepts a key and a value. And within the method body, we first obtain the index where the value needs to be stored. For that, we use the hashing function, which accepts the key. So const index is equal to this dot hash and we pass in the key. Now we store the value at the index. This dot table of index is equal to value. Really simple as you can see. Next, let's implement the get method which returns value for a particular key. Get accepts the key and within the method body, we once again obtain the index where the value for this key is stored. So const index is equal to this dot hash passing in key. 
We then return the value at that index. So return this dot table of index. Next, let's implement the remove method which deletes the value at a given key. Remove accepts key and within the method body, again, obtain the index where the value is stored using the hashing function. Const index is equal to this dot hash passing in key. Next, to delete the value, we can simply set undefined at the corresponding index. This dot table of index is equal to undefined. Of course, you can also add an if condition to check if the value exists before deleting, but for our implementation, this works just fine. Finally, let's define a function to display the contents of the hash table. I'm going to call the method display and within the method body, we use a for loop to iterate over the array and print the key value pairs. So for let i is equal to zero, i less than table length, i plus plus, if this dot table of i exists, console log i comma this dot table of i. So we iterate from 0 to 49 and if a value exists at a particular index, we log that value. And that should cover everything we need. Set, get, remove and display. Let's test to make sure the code works as expected. First, let's set two values. Table.set name is the key. Bruce is the value. Age is the key. 25 is the value. Let's now call table.display. Run the code. And we see at index 1, 25, which is age, is stored. And at index 17, Bruce is stored. Next, let's call the get method. So console log table.get and we want the value stored at the key name. Run the code and we get back Bruce. Finally, let's remove name and call table.display. Run the code. And we just have the age stored at index 1. Everything works as expected. At least that is what it seems like. Let me now show a bug in our code. Instead of removing name, I'm going to add a new key value pair. So table.set, the key is going to be main and the value is going to be Clark. If we now run the code, you can see that initially Bruce was stored at index 17, but at the end Clark is stored at the same index. We have lost the value Bruce. And this is a big no when it comes to data structures. You simply cannot lose data. Now why is this happening? Well, our hashing function is a very simple function that uses the character code to convert key to an index. If the key has the same set of letters, for example, name and main, the index will be the same and the latter will overwrite the former value. So Clark has overwritten Bruce in our example. This is called a collision and needs to be handled in our implementation. Let's learn how to do that in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.